Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 8 of this LC house. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the floor or the planter box. And then also we added some of this one right here, the stairs, the floor right here, and then the stairs as well on the deck. Now we're going to continue working on this. Um, basically, um, I'm planning to finish off the stairs. And at the same time, we're going to maybe start our kitchen. So that's my plan. If not, if we don't start our kitchen, we're going to add in our um, gate right here. So it will be three gates. Um, one, two for cars, and then uh, one for our um, entrance here for for a small gate here for people. So now, what I'm gonna do is we're going to go to our level one, and then from here, let's go to architecture, and then click on stairs. And once we do we have this base level will be level one and then top level will be level two i'm going to edit this and then let's duplicate i'm just duplicating this so that we don't change anything from the original and then actual width we're going to maintain 1000 um, that's more than enough and we could actually edit that afterwards if we want to. So here we have enough space for our landing. And for the desired um, numbers of riser, um, what I'm planning to do is to add. So probably equal enough. So here we have eight, 17. So I'm going to make it 18 doing it 18 so that it's 9 each and it's just going to be a simple U, U style um, with the landing so now we're going to add from here 1000 and then 9 so we have 9 and then another 9 right here and obviously we need some gap so we could just add some space right here for the stairs and then here as you can as you notice we have too much of the space right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put 950 on each side and as you can see it's not good enough or we have just enough space for our stairs right here in terms of our walls that are connecting this so we might have to put this one up to 900 each so we're just conforming it to the space that we have and then here we could just move this one a little little by little and then we have our it's because this one is our uh reeling or our uh stringers right here that we need we will delete anyway so what i'm doing is pushing this one the thread and the riser near the wall because that's more than enough and then here once we click finish we could push this one all the way right here to the end at the same time let's look at 3d we could delete the railings from the back and then just leaving it like this if we select this now we could edit and then we could remove the 
stringers so we could just click here and then put to none on both sides and then what we're gonna do is we're going to change this to middle support we're gonna leave it like that and then here we will delete the trend so we don't have unchecking on that so we only have risers and then it's being hold on so actually the other the other way around we need trends but we don't need riser so now it's unchecked and we don't want it to be slanted click on apply okay and then okay now it looks like this it looks much better i'm gonna select this railing and then here we're going to use the rectangular to make it much better look much better right here and as you can see everything is connected properly edit edit the stairs actually and then now I want to showcase um, what we're gonna use here in terms of material so now let's go back here and change the materials so the tread should be one of the wood materials that we have right here so let's use oak espresso tread thickness we could you can change that nose length and those kind of stuff I'm just gonna leave that like that for the mid support we need to double check on that and add in a metal finish so let's add it right here and choose one of this aluminum right here because we could change that to a black metal material once we're in twin motion and then after that we need to select the railing this one we could edit duplicate and then after we duplicate we could check this one and then we could change the material for this so same thing we could add in a metal material that will be editable once we're in twin motion so the idea here is just keep on adding materials or adding materials so that once we're in twin motion we can change it instantly and then here another thing that we need to use or we check is this profile the hand I'm thinking on just checking use top rail let's see if no we need that top rail and then here we could just edit the structure or the way the baluster is uh, we could change it if to different square or change it to a smaller one if we want to and then the spacing we could change as well but in terms of the material that's something that we need to check as well before doing anything else but for now as you can see this one looks much better and the way is it looks modern to be added at the same time we're going to add in windows right here so let's go to uh, level one click on wall and then drop down and then click on gen curtain wall and add a curtain wall right here 
and then after that go to modify click on cut geometry and then click on this and then on this one as well go to 3d in order for us to see how it looks so for now i want it to be all the way to the second floor and then we could just extend this and we'll have a much better looking uh, window and then at the same time i am seeing that the landing is not thick enough so let's edit that i want my landing to be buff that's same as run but the thickness should be around 200 thread thickness for the landing so as you can see this one looks much better having a thicker landing but at the same time we need to add the same material so let's go back here and just change the material from here and we use I believe oak Oak Espresso Oak Flooring Espresso and once we do everything will be clean up like that we have a thicker landing and then we have a separation of thickness from the tread and then we don't have any riser for that so that looks much better and then once we have the second floor we're going to extend this and at the same time we're going to make this one clean and we could add in our um, design in terms of um, mullions so we're at least planning to design it much better and we're going to showcase that here I'm just gonna check the materials that we have here I don't want aluminum frame because we ha already have aluminum for the mullion I want it to be changed so that um, we could change it um, in twin motion as well so I'm just gonna change this to bronze for now so that everything is editable um, and then the glass and then maple that's good enough we could have a black frame this one could be wood or uh, a lighter wood with a darker wood frame material so that will be very nice and then here what I'm planning to do is a different finish from the floor because as you can see um, we have the same floor for from our uh, powder room so to do a different floor what we need to do is go to modify and then click on split face it's basically going to split a different face right here and we'll be able to add in a different finish so here knowing that there is yellow line right here indicating that's that's the end what we're gonna do is we're going to just add this line all around right here so once we do it will single out this space so once we click that it single out this face and then now we'll be able to click on paint and then paint this on a different one so I'm gonna do show unused so now we have some show unused right here what I'm gonna do is um, probably gonna use one of this slab surface just to change it because we're, we won't be able to add a different material from here so what I'm gonna do is click on maybe standard and then now click on that 
Now if we double check it in 3D, as you can see, it changed in color. It, it's not this pattern anymore or not finish, but a different finish. And we know that we have our toilet right here, but it's only a 2D face. And then we could just change the room with a different material as well. But that's something that we could think about later on. Uh, what's good is that we have, we change something right here. Um, this one is in the middle. I hope we have a side by side, but this is good enough. In terms of opening it, it will be open there. And then we could have in a credenza right here. Um, we're going to add a credenza right here and also a credenza right here. So insert, load family, go back here. Um, and then here under storage, we have credenza. So we could just add that one. Click on open, CM, add it in front of this one. And then we have something right here, but we're, we could just edit the sizing of here. So let's duplicate this. And then we could just change the depth, probably around 500. And then here, the width, let's change this to 1500. Let's leave the height for now, AL. And then AL on right here at the back. We could actually make it shorter, 1300, just to be sure that we have enough space for everything. So it could be just like that, looking like that. And then here, I like the length already but the depth i'm gonna change it to 500 and then i want it to be from the back of that and then that will it will look like that for some reason when we edit it it's just looking like that but that's something that we could just leave it because we just want to represent that we could just edit that later on but as you can see we could hang a painting right there it's looking that's looking good we could um, basically maneuver it to go on the side so that we have enough space here to go and we could even have something like a fountain here or whatever that is um, really good to add to add it some value or to show something so that's good enough there and then before we go what I'm planning to do is just cut this one so let's go to architecture or mo modify and we could just add this split element so SL and then we could just click on right here and then 400 at the side there. We're going to maintain that so that here, I just want it to be more than enough there. So once we delete that, we could just get ready for to add in. So at least we have something to base it from there. So now we have our gate. We could just add the gate as well and then we're good to go so for now let's leave it like here and we're gonna continue on the next video so thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below